If you really want the epitome of sensitivity, you gotta look toward Keemstar's Twitter videos, because this dude is the most sensitive man on the planet. Take, for example, this individual. He barely criticized Keemstar. In fact, he was sucking Keemstar's dick for half the time. You do realize where Keem is coming from from this tweet. He is just concerned for Deji. He doesn't... Because Deji hasn't released a lot of footage of him fighting, and, you know, no one really knows how ready he is. So Keem is obviously a bit concerned about why Deji is fighting Jake Paul, and if he is prepared enough. The only criticism was, With the fight only being two months away, I feel like the initial tweet he did was so pointless, because nothing's gonna change. People have bought tickets to the KSI Logan Paul Deji vs Jake Paul fight. It's not gonna just switch up to Joe Weller, like, it's not gonna do that, so... The tweet does, w does way more damage initially than good because you're just gonna upset Deji and nothing's gonna come from it because the fight's only a few months away. And what did Keemstar do upon hearing this, this awful criticism? You said publicly that, uh, I was a bad friend to Deji for saying that Jake Paul's gonna win the fight. You know, me having an opinion on who's gonna win a fight is backstabbing. Remember that whole thing where Deji made a big deal about it and, you know, People were saying that I was backstabbing Deji just because I thought that Jake Paul would win a fight. And then you jumped on that bandwagon and made a video. Do you remember that? Let's be honest, Kavas. We don't really talk anymore ever since that whole thing with Deji, do we? So are we really good friends? Not really. Not after that incident. We don't talk anymore. I don't hate you. I'm not coming after you. I'm not coming to get you. That's not it at all. I just, we're just not close anymore. 